Well, I've been uh, in the shop working on one of my old projects, and uh, I'm going to show you what I've been working on. My old 620, one of my very first four-wheel drive tractors that I RC converted. Um, I got the lights working. Well, I got a strobe light working. Uh, I'm waiting for an auxiliary switches to come on Amazon here, but uh, I went and I put some lights up in the uh, the grill up here, <clears throat> and then uh, I went and I hooked some, got some more lights in the back. But uh, currently waiting on an auxiliary light switch off at uh, Amazon. Um, trying to think if it was Apex is the brand. And then I'll have them all hooked up into a channel on my radio so that I can turn it on, turn the lights on and off. But uh, yeah, just something I've been kind of working on and it's coming along. It's coming along. Now, this machine, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. Uh, I did have the motor mounted in here directly driving into the first differential. And it's not really a differential, it's a straight axle. It's a quarter inch D shaft that goes across. And there's some brass gears I got off Servo City and whatnot. But I was continuously stripping out the brass gear that came off the motor. Strictly because I couldn't get the mesh to go right. I'd chip a tooth and then pretty soon all hell breaks loose. So what I ended up doing is mounted it on the top and on the back side I have a chain drive. This is all way before I got into using the Tamea axles and whatnot and I would have to completely totally remodel this thing in order to go back to that. Um, I may do one in the future where I use the Tamiya axles like I did on my Steiger Industrial, but uh, this thing works just fine the way it is. It's just I couldn't get that front gear to live. Uh, the rest of the gears, they're all good. I actually enclosed them and uh, packed them full of grease, and uh, we'll see how well that lives or whatnot. I've got extra parts here, and it doesn't take that long to change out the gears if something does happen to go bad, but... You know, this is one of those very first ones that I built, and uh, if I had it to do all over again, I would do it differently. But since it's built all around that stuff already, uh, I'm going to try and make the stuff that it's built on last and survive. Um, you know, that's, you know, two, two and a half years ago when I first got into this hobby and I started building things, and you know, you sit down and you think about how you want to do something, and uh, it may or may not turn out the way you wanted it to. And uh, this one so far has done pretty good, other than that front gear problem. I just could not get them to mesh right, uh, get my shimming right. I just, uh, so I just bypassed it. And it's actually given me quite a bit more room up front. Um, I got room on top there to put a 5,000 milliamp 3S LiPo battery. So that'll give me a lot of run time if everything lasts. <laughs> but anyway, just taking you around it, just kind of showing you. Um, I do have plans. I, I've got some tires coming coming from uh, Chucky's um, here in Iowa. Uh, and I got to, but I'll have to build my own rims because I don't like the rims that he has to get them to fit to an RC, uh, to get to run to that, uh, oh, what do you want to call it? That, that hex drive. So I'll have to custom make my own rims for him, but, or I may just leave it the way it is right now and run it as is for a while uh, until I get that stuff built. But anyway. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much with this project, but uh, it's been a fun one. It's just been an ongoing. You know, an RC is never really done. You just keep building and you keep adding. So catch you guys later.